The second option in the canvas component is pixel perfect. As you may already know that any image that you see on your computer, whether be a PNG image or a JPEG image or any screen, whether be it is a mobile screen or a uh, computer monitor screen, they are composed of very small pixels. Pixels are the smallest unit that can show you a color. Now imagine this is our game screen and on this screen where each square is a pixel, we have a small button, small red button of size 4 pixels into 4 pixels on our screen at this time. So if we have this button, uh, this pixel on your device, either your monitor or your mobile device, on that screen this pixel will be white, this will be red and similarly for other pixels. So this button would look crisp on your devices. But it may happen that your button moves on the screen and it is not exactly aligned to the pixels of your devices. So for example, uh, let's assume that our button is placed like this and now these pixels which are completely inside the button would still be of red. These pixels would still be white, completely white. But on these, for these pixels which are on the boundary of our button, they have the option to be either completely red or completely white. And generally what the computer does is that it makes these pixels a uh, value between white and red. So for example, if this button is like completely uncovered, this pixel is completely uncovered from the button, it will make this pixel of a color which is closer to white. And if my button was filling the pixel like this, then this pixel would, would be of a color closer to red. So in these cases, this pixel at the boundary and similarly this pixel at the other boundary of the button would be would not be of a crisp red color but the value would be shifting between white and red or any combination depending on your color and the background image. So the edge is not always sharp, it is not always a single color but a, but a color which is between the background and your button images. This can cause your button edges to be blurry because you can see that your button would be red here and a different color here and then white here. So this makes our uh, button edges to look soft, to look blurry and if you don't want this effect, if you want the retro look from the Mario games or other retro style games, if you want this image to look exactly perfect, uh, hard edges on your button sprites, what you can do is enable pixel perfect. So what pixel perfect does is that if your button is already aligned to the screen pixels, it, do it doesn't need to do anything. But if your button is slightly offset from the device pixels, it will either move your button so that it aligns with the screen pixels so that it again can look extremely sharp and there are no in between colors at your edges. So all your pixels are either completely red or completely white. The other thing that it can do is, is scale your button slightly so that if your button is like this, it can scale your button and this whole pixel would be completely red and this whole pixel will be completely red. So your button will uh, look like it's slightly exagger exaggerated, exactly scaled up, but the uh, but the look of your button would be sharp and all your edges will be well defined. The third option in the canvas component is sort order, which basically controls the order in which multiple canvases are drawn. So for example, if you have different UI elements on different canvases, so if you have your map on a different canvas map and your score on a different canvas, you can arrange how these canvases are drawn on top of each other. So if a canvas has higher sort order, for example, let's give this a sort order of 5, then this canvas will be drawn after a canvas with sort order of 0 is drawn. So they are drawn in uh, numerical order. First the 0 is drawn, then 5 and so on and so forth. The next component attached to the canvas is the canvas scaler. 
which controls how the canvas is scaled when the device resolution or its orientation changes and there are three modes for the UI scale the canvas scaling the first is constant pixel size keep in mind that this scale mode controls every element that lies inside that canvas so if you change something here it will affect all the elements for example this button uh, the text element inside that button it will affect the overall canvas and every element inside it so coming to the different UI scale modes in the constant pixel size mode which is also the default canvas scaling mode if you scale the screen in this example the game screen if I change this game screen the button will continue to be of the same size that we have defined at the start so if the button sprite was of the size 100 into 20 it would still be 100 into 20 even if I scale the screen size the second setting here in this mode is the scale factor which can be used to directly scale everything inside the canvas so if, for example if I made this two then every element this button this text everything will be scaled to a factor of two the third setting is reference pixel per unit which is only useful if you have set the pixel per unit setting in your sprites and it controls how uh, how that pixel per unit is converted to a UI pixel inside your canvas the second option for canvas scaling is scale with screen size in this mode if your canvas is uh, scaled to fit the screen the amount of scaling in the horizontal axis and the vertical axis is used to control the scaling of each uh, UI button so if your screen expanded two times in the horizontal plane then all your buttons would be expanded two times in the horizontal plane but one feature is here is that you can uh, uh, you can control how much horizontal or vertical uh, scaling applies to your button so for in the, uh, in this example uh, the match parameter which varies between width and height this can be controlled to affect how horizontal or vertical scaling is applied to your UI elements so if this slider is at width then the scaling in horizontal direction is applied to the button but no scaling in vertical direction is applied to that button and if I move it to height then only scaling in the vertical direction of the canvas would be applied to that button so I will just show you in action here so if this is my uh, default canvas when I am designing the game and if my canvas is scaled on the device when I have deployed the game in the vertical direction so if my screen increases in size in vertical direction and if my match is set to only width then this button will not be scaled because it is not affected by the height scaling factor and however if we were going to scale the width then this button increases in its width and the width scaling factor is directly applied to that button and keeping this slider in the middle uh, giving it an option of uh, value of 0 0.5 would make that button or any GUI element inside that canvas respond equally to the horizontal and vertical scaling so what I have found is that keeping the scaling to uh, width uh, keeping the scaling at the width or the value to 0 is gives the best possible uh, results now the reference resolution uh, just defines at uh, what is the default value from which the scaling would be calculated so if your reference resolution is 800 and 600 and on the your device where you have deployed this UI is 1600 into 1200 so the it will calculate the scaling to be uh, 2 in horizontal and 2 in vertical based on this uh, reference resolution so what I found out that, that the reference resolution should always be equal to the resolution at which you are designing your UI elements so you can always go to your game window and set a 
uh, set a particular resolution for example 1024 into 768 you can add new resolutions by using this plus button and then design all your UIs at a particular resolution and then set that resolution as your reference resolution the final option is the reference pixel per unit which is same as the reference pixel per unit in constant pixel size setting the last mode in canvas scaling is the constant physical size it means that it uses the screen pixel density or the screen DPI to scale your UI elements so that the physical size of your UI elements is always the same this mode is really helpful if you are designing for iOS or for retina displays where for example if you have a button of size 100 pixels uh, width and 20 pixel high then this pixel would appear very small on a retina display because the pixel density on a retina display is very high compared to your uh, computer monitor and then this 100 into 20 pixel uh, button would appear very very small on those high pixel density screens so this mode will try to match the physical appearance or the physical size for example your millimeters or if you are measuring an inch and it will try to conserve that physical dimension of your button on uh, different screens which may have different DPIs the last element in your canvas is the graphic raycaster so whenever you click a button or uh, tap on your mobile devices this graphic raycaster is used to raycast on all of the GUI elements in the canvas and determine if any UI element has been hit by that event so it is similar to the physics raycast and it returns which uh, GUI element has been affected by your touch or by your click and the first option here is the inverse reversed graphics it, con it controls if uh, suppose your button is reversed in the canvas like it is back facing and in that case if the back facing button would be affected by the raycast or not and th these two options the blocking objects and the blocking mask these help you control that if your raycast would be blocked by some things like a 2d object or a 3d object and the blocking mask determine that these uh, elements these colliders would block your Reka so that any of your UI elements like your buttons which are placed behind these objects won't be affected by the graphics raycast so they won't be affected by your click so you can make more realistic and uh, physically based buttons so that if they are be behind any object if they are behind the player they won't be affected by the graphics raycast.